Hello, everyone. My name is Tyler Greenslate. I'm currently the athletic director at Harry Ainley High School in Edmonton, Alberta. Um, very happy to, to be able to congratulate Rob Poole on his induction into the ASAA Hall of Fame. Um, for those of you who do not know Rob, I'm going to share uh, just a, a, a brief introduction and uh, I, I hope it does justice uh, to Rob and, and all the great work he's done as a teacher coach for for many number of years. Um, Rob was an educator for 33 years and has nearly 40 years of experience as a coach, primarily in basketball. He taught at Harry Ainley from 1981 till 2009. Over his coaching career, Rob won 13 Edmonton City Championships in high school, four youth basketball provincial championships, five Alberta Schools Athletic Association provincial championships, and two ACAC League Championships. In the process of no nominating Coach Poole for the ASAA Hall of Fame, we were able to connect with former colleagues who praised Rob endlessly. It's absolutely true in, in nominating Rob um, that I was able to learn more about him and not having had the opportunity to work with Rob myself, it was amazing to hear stories um, about Rob, it, it confirmed what I heard from many people before that Rob laid um, the, the groundwork and the foundation for those who came after him at Harry Ainley. And Rob is one of only three um, senior men basketball coaches that we've had at our school. And as you may know, he, he also coached on the women's side, um, but it, it's no surprise to me after having the chance to speak with Rob and get to know him a little bit um, that Harry Ainley has been able to continue on a tradition of excellence in our basketball programs after Rob um, left. And I know that, that um, there are thousands of young men and women that Rob positively impacted during his time as a teacher and as a coach. And we're very proud of him at Harry Ainley High School. And we wish nothing, uh, nothing but the best to Rob and his family, um, a, a Titan through and through. And, and again, we just want to congratulate Rob. He, he's very deserving of this. And, and thank you to the ASAA for, for um, inducting him into your Hall of Fame. Uh, thanks so much, everybody. Take care. I definitely learned a lot about, about young, young people and teaching and uh, how you have to have patience and, uh, and looking long term. But we, we had some quality people that bought in and were committed and uh, they did what was necessary and it all came together. I think each context is unique in terms of the age and development of the athletes you're working with and their past experiences. Uh, I've been fortunate to have had the opportunity to coach at the uh, U sport level recently and now I'm coaching at the U sport level again, helping out at U of Vic here. Um, Athletes are athletes, and one of the things that I've not really had to do much is coach effort. They're highly motivated, and uh, for me, it's just making sure that uh, I can connect with them as people, and they know that they, I, they, I build a mutual trust between myself and the athletes, and we uh, set targets that we try to achieve, and uh, I think I've, one of the things that's kept me going in coaching is knowing that there's more to learn every around every corner, and uh, the sports science field seems to be changing and, and, and improving. And I, I tried to stay abreast of it uh, and tried to get better as a coach year after year. And uh, it's been a, a wonderful experience to try to improve my skills throughout the duration that I have coached. And I think one of the things that I've learned about the profession of coaching with, with kids is that if you focus on the process, the other things will fall into place. You know. Uh, I never really got much into win losses. You know, we, we play excellent games and, and have, be successful and sometimes lose, you know, um, just because it was the other team played better. I think long term in looking at the process of how do you improve to become better became more of my focus. I think the values that I learned as an athlete myself became more important as I coached longer and longer. Uh, things like punctuality, handling adversity, perseverance, uh, goal setting, the mental skills, uh, the value of an active lifestyle, all of those things became more important. And, and as I thought more about the teams I coached, I think one of the things that 
sport really allows uh, athletes to do is learn how to work through problems together and how to be a team and what does being a team mean and how does that work not only in athletics but how is that going to work when you enter adulthood and you move into the world of work etc so I think more of those things became more important to me you know the basketball or the volleyball or the rugby the sport itself you know I hopefully I've fostered a love of, of sport in all of the athletes that I've worked with I think I have, you know, it's uh, something that I, I enjoyed myself and uh, I wanted to share that enjoyment with the, the students I worked with. I think in terms of bringing intensity, I think um, it's important, but uh, I think I'm not being successful and I can't get it from the athletes. I, I shouldn't have to be the one to, to bring intensity. I think in case if I'm doing a good job, then they're bringing the intensity. And I think people would characterize myself when I was playing sports at a highly competitive level as a fairly intense competitor, but one of the things that I had to learn as a coach was how do I help athletes deal with frustration, disappointment, uh, how do we stop losing confidence, so those mental skills I thought were just as important as the physical skills, so that, especially at higher levels, um, I tried to make sure that in training and off the court that we would discuss that and have a plan of action and try to encourage and support those athletes that may at, at, at particular times during competition be frustrated with a, a call or, or a situation and being able to move forward because I think that's extremely important and those skills are so important in life because that is what life is all about I think. I would be remiss in not mentioning uh, a gentleman who uh, sadly has passed, uh, that's Dave Holland, who was a graduate of Harry Ainley. Uh, Dave and I coached together for oh, many years, I think 23, 24 years. Uh, Dave was right there by my side throughout many of our uh, seasons and uh, I have to give him credit. He very intelligent, very respected. Uh, the kids could relate to Dave. He played at a high level. He was an elite athlete internationally respected in basketball and rugby and team handball. He, he, he was a big part of our, our success. Um, Brian Anderson was always there for, to help me and support me. We, we didn't always agree, but um, that's fine. Uh, I, gave, I gained more respect about what Brian had done and, and, and what he meant to me in my career. And uh, those are two significant individuals. And uh, I, I have lots of uh, coaching, um, you know, uh, people that I coached against that were very good friends off the court and we would get together and share ideas and talk and, you know, people like Dave Youngs at Ross Shepard, uh, Bob Fallis when he was coaching at Ross Shepard would come to mind, but uh, there are many, many people that uh, really had a big influence on my coaching, uh, coaching days and coaching philosophy. The, the educating side would have to be in my ability to treat those people as individuals and we all learn in different ways and understand that you if you're teaching a team everyone's going to have a little different learning style and try to be um, respectful of that um, understand we all going to learn at different rates and you, you, you're conscious like a classroom you're you're trying to get everyone to a certain level but they're all going to get there at different times and periods and I think um, they would understand that I was there for the right reasons. I, I deeply care about all of them and I wanted them to be successful. I think I brought the, the, my passion for teaching and, and learning from the classroom into the court as, as a coach as well. And um, you have to be able to teach to be successful as a coach. I think it's something I've learned. You know, you must know how to uh, look at error detection, how, what kind of feedback the athlete needs to be successful, how to be motivating, how to encourage them, uh, all of those things um, I think I, I bring to my, my coaching, which is a direct result of my uh, passion.